Hey, I'm Jeff Wasileski. I'm the Commercial Tropical Fruit Extension Agent for University of Florida in Miami-Dade County. And today we're going to talk about pruning young fruit trees. So we're going to talk about pruning trees and this is what you don't want. These are some really big mango trees. This one's probably about 35 feet tall. And it's really going to be difficult to get the fruit off of this. It's going to be difficult to spray it if you need to. So this is what we don't want to have happen. Okay, so this is what we do want. This is a mango tree. It's a Fairchild mango. It's probably five years old and it's been kept smaller through pruning. If you look over here to my right, you see another mango tree. It's about the same age. It's a little bit bigger, a little more vigorous. It's called a cac mango. But both these trees, we've been able to maintain the height through pruning. So everywhere you see branching, that's where I made a pruning cut when this tree was young. I cut it here, it broke into three branches. I cut it again and again, broke into branches. And this allows the tree to go sideways and not straight up. This really helps that our tree begins its scaffolding branching here a foot and a half off the ground rather than way up here about six or seven feet. So this is a carambola or star fruit. It's another tree that we're keeping the height down. This tree came to me when it was a little taller so I didn't make an initial lower cut. But what I did was I took the center out of this tree right here, which is causing this new growth here. That also allowed the lateral growth to flourish, new growth here, uh, but it took out the height of the tree. So this is a canistel. It's another tree that I'm maintaining the height. This one will probably get about 12 to 15 feet maximum. Um, and this is just like the mango that I showed you. Made a cut here, caused a lot of branching. Made a cut here, another cut here, here and here. If you come take a look here, you'll see one of the cuts right there. See that cut caused one, two, three, four branches. So that's how we're keeping this tree small through tipping. So this tree is a jackfruit and you see it's getting a little bit too tall. So I'm going to control the height a little bit with a thinning cut. A thinning cut goes all the way back to a major branch and controls the height. Where a tip tipping, which I talked about earlier, you kind of just cut the tips to get it to branch out. So we're going to take out the middle of this tree here. You see here I made a cut before to kind of control the height, but now we're going to take out the central branch right here. So I'm going to start with a little undercut. Come from the top. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't rip. And that's just controlling the height nice and easy. Okay, so today we learned why we don't want a huge tree, why we want a smaller tree. We learned about some techniques of how to keep the tree smaller. So this is Jeff Wasileski from Miami Dade Extension University of Florida saying, if you know it, you can grow it. This is your carambola. Star fruit. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs>